Hello fans of Marvel Heroes and friends of my channel, my name is Wilfred and this game is called Marvel Heroes Omega Free to Play. Um, today I'd like to do a little bit different. This day I've been thinking, uh, biggest update ever with all this latest update, um, surely there has been quite a lot of noises. And I've been thinking if say Gazillion may have uh, budget or funding for another two years of development or so, what would my wish list be? Uh, how would I want to improve the game? I'd like to share this, these ideas with you. Keen to hear how you uh, perceive them as well. Maybe you'd like to improve upon that. Um, a little bit of background. I've been playing this game since 2013, uh, March, uh, close uh, beta. I've invested quite a lot of time, about more than 4,000 hours, uh, money as well in this game. So I thought uh, maybe just share my experience with you. Okay, now if we have another shot and improve this game drastically, um, what would my wish list be? Number one is that uh, I feel uh, best, in lot, best in slot kind of items uh, sh you know, for heroes is kind of important you know, when, you, when you play this game. Like if you play Path of Exile, you can pretty much get the whole set of like, uh, items through trade rather you know, easily and after that you can improve from there. Or you can like Diablo 3, you can play like, you know, you know, pretty fast to get all the items that you want and then you spend time rolling for fixes and improving the gear. So I would say, if I were to so-called design this game, I would say each hero spend no more than 20 to 40 hours to collect the entire set of BIS. You know? uh, that would mean that, well, it doesn't mean that that's the end of the gearing journey. Uh, you know, with 20 or 40 hours, you know, hero should be sufficiently strong to deal with all kind of end game content. But if you like to do it better, um, like even stronger, better farm efficiency, if you want to spend like maybe 80 hours or 150 hours on that, you could s slowly kind of improve your, uh, say, uh, fixes. And that's fine because some prefer that kind of like uh, journey. But from many people I've talked to, people enjoy just playing mo multiple heroes, enjoy playing like prestige and so on. And so in that sense, I think, you know, 20 to 40, 20 to 40 hours is roughly right. Um, bear in mind that we have about 60 heroes. So even if you spend 40 hours in playing all 60 heroes, uh, which is all the content in this game, that will end up with quite a lot of hours, like 2,400 hours um, in, in, in a way. So still, it is quite a long journey if you look at it from that angle. Uh, and so, I mean, in that, in that sense, I, I think that the whole Omega prestige kind of thing that we have, uh, we will have uh, soon, will have to go from, from that perspective. But we'll, you know, there, are, there are many ways to compensate the whole you know, achievement that people may have over this like, you know, uh, couple of years of playing, perhaps. The second thing that I would like to propose is to unify the content. Um, not only that, but also give a more holistic kind of like a reward to it. Now, what do I mean by that? Is that uh, I think you know all, all the end game content should be um, you can you can do any of the mode and you could be rewarded with a similar set of rewards. So regardless whether you like to play mode A or B or C, um, it shouldn't be like you know you must play this to get this and then play this to get that and play something else to get that. I think that has to go. Um, I think Danger Room has a very very good potential. But right now, it's just very limited in the tiles and it's just not enough randomness to it. Um, so I think they should improve the danger room uh, with a lot more tile set, maybe like a path of exile kind of like a mapping kind of perspective. Or, you know, or if they want to do like a Diablo 3 kind of like a brief kind of endless dungeon to it, you know, danger room environment, that could, be, that could be done up nicely as well. But variety is important. So you, we don't want to deal with the same content uh, time and time again. I think X Defense, the concept is really cool. Again, it's the number of maps that should be like a variety of map being zoned in. And maps should play a role in terms of the uh, whole gameplay as well. Um, you know, for those who are kind of like haven't really got a chance to play with X Defense, it's really fun uh, initially. Uh, there's an escalation of uh, difficulties as you go by, and there's a lot of, a lot of like group kind of like uh, group play and, and stuff like that to, to make it work. And I think for those who like to group play a little bit more, you know, limbo is a is a nice thing to have. Raid is a nice thing to have. Um, and for those who prefer to solo or quest, I think in in some sense terminal one shot, you know those type are pretty nice, like uh, like a bounty in a D D three perspective that you could actually chain it across. But uh, my major complaint is that uh, it's just not very group friendly. I uh, mean that uh, different people join a group, we can't really do like uh, like like the 
you know, the, we only have share quest, which is kind of totally boring. It doesn't take you to various parts of the world. To just experience the story one to ten in a in a fragmented way, kind of thing, they chain it in the story kind of thing. So uh, I think in that sense, you know, Gazillion could improve a lot on so called the end game content and create something new as well. Perhaps you know something that's random, something that's rewarding. At the end of the day, everything go back to the reward system. And if you go back to the first point whereby if you can get the BIS item within twenty or forty I mean, uh, forty hours, then you know the whole thing makes sense because you know you need the kind of drop and you need the kind of like um, you know kind of you know, excitement to keep people going. Now the third thing I'd like to propose is to really get rid of the entire mobility update. You know, uh, we should put the action back into the ARPG. Uh, some game does it pretty well. Like you know, Path of Exile, you can just dash uh, quite unlimited. Uh, no, in an unlimited manner. Does it have its own problem? Yes, it does. But uh, I would say that one is way more fun than just like you know limping, you know, a few dashes and then you have to count number of cooldown left and so on. I mean, this is not World of Warcraft. You don't count the panda kind of roll, how many rolls left and stuff like that. This is like action role playing game. And in that regard, you know, it should be faster. Uh, with you know, killing should be faster, more mobs, you know, more excitement, not just like pocket of mobs that slowly spawn and you kill it. Doesn't matter how fast you kill stuff like that. There you go. Um, then I would like to propose also drastically reduce the amount of loot type uh, because you know there's so many loot type. Um, those just too many of them to pick up, too many of them to think through. And at the end of the day, I mean, these are just numbers and doesn't really change the way that we play the game. Reduce the number of currency out there is really, really tremendous number of currency. Unify it back to the whole entire end game kind of thing, right? We need to unify end game, unify currency, unify the uh, loot, loot type, and go for the loop 3.0 kind of thing. Um, you know, loot should be relevant. Artifact that drop should be something that I can use as a hero, right? Um, you can draw other artifacts as well, which is fine. But uh, by and large, I should be able to looting things that is relevant for my build. So if I'm playing a mental hero, you know, there's no point dropping me a gorilla necklace. I think, anyhow. I mean, you know, just an example. So all these things should really go into the whole entire like relevant loot drop. Everything that I drop there should be excitement for me. Um, and I would also like to propose things like streamlining the whole entire attributes and any other statistics that are a little bit like just too clunky or not intuitive. How many of you kind of remember, can you just remember and recite what are the new attributes, you know, all the factors inside, are fixes inside each of the new attributes? I can't. Uh, can you remember like our type of each and every heroes that you play and you have? I can't. Now that make a lot of things not that exciting because when a loot drop, I kind of like, can I give it to, I really don't know who to give it to, right? I mean, so the, what's the point of all this excitement? Uh, if you look at the old attribute, it's actually very, very intuitive. Um, you could like, like uh, you know, whatever drop, you know instantly like, oh, what can go where kind of thing. So I think they should go that way. Uh, they should get rid of the whole pay for power. Uh, they should design around the fun and not around the wallet that we have. I think that is really important. Focus on cosmetic items uh, to buy from that. Leaderboard uh, should be monthly leaderboard per hero. So you can always go back to like, you know, compare your hot eyes against my hot eyes kind of thing rather than just like right now the leaderboard, you can't really see the gear that people are using or what heroes are they using. So it's kind of not really useful. And with that says, I think we should continue to have account based progress like the infinity system or like like some of this like a recipe and stuff like that but it should be moderate it should not be just like you know really grinding and grinding for for all these things it should be like you know just improving your heroes and you know fun factor to it not just grinding for all this xp and stuff like that uh that's my view um, we should have season or league uh, like Diablo 3 or Path of Exile um, with the cosmetic reward at the end of the season once you get it, you know, certain achievement uh, milestone and stuff like that. That will make it really fun. Um, the costumes should be a la carte style. You can buy costume or pet or, you know, any kind of visual effect, even the artifact visual effect like the rose petal or whatnot. You can sell those things. That's fine. I won't complain. You can, you can sell all these things. Uh, you can, may have a um, fortune card. Uh, which is time-based so you know if you really want the costume really fast like today then you know 
gamble for the fortune car that's fine you can make some money out from it but you know whatever lock behind fortune car should be available for purchase in an a la carte manner uh for like after three months or whatever or six months uh, doesn't really matter but you know that that should be the way uh, if you really want to do a fortune car thingy um i think dupe is a lot of like you know um <laughs> i mean it's a small complaint but right now the dupe in this game just doesn't do much so i don't know make them great again uh, i think great drop should be on every day i mean i i I kind of like the event idea, but the event getting a little bit like, you know, uh, just some of them are just way too good. And if you miss it, then you can't really like, you, you don't really have all this like uh, very huge boost to, to think. I mean, if you look at things like Diablo or, or Path of Exile, that's a, they don't really have a lot of events. I mean, Path of Exile probably, yes, end of season, there's some fun event. We could do that as well. But, um, you know, it should really be every day. Great job. Doesn't matter what kind of event. Doesn't matter if it is like Monday or whatnot. You know, should be fun. Whichever day that you lock in. Uh, they should continue to release new heroes. I think, you know, a lot of people like to have new heroes and that's really cool. Uh, we play this game for Marvel theme. So a lot of these kind of flavor attacks, you know, like the old Omega system should bring it back, but reduce it like, you know, probably trim down on things that are not really fun, but make it like a Marvel theme, not just like, a, you know, just too too theoretical right now just like a game like that but it should be like i'm playing a hero with all these themes around it and all these nooks that i pick all have a name that everybody can talk about shadow king or whatever it is and you know kind of makes sense i think we should get rid of all these hero mechanic that's not fun like for example waiting for resource to generate like you know um like a couple of seconds for the resource to generate those are not really fun um, those I think they should just get rid of it and, and, and just do something different from it uh, some of the boss mechanic also not fun like the shield shield up bubble up for a couple of seconds you really can't do anything you just like I look at you you look at me what is going to happen nothing right so I think they should get rid of these things and right now I still can't see what the bosses are doing uh, they I, I know it's not realistic to like you know the boss be bigger than the hero i don't i don't know what they can do make the hero bigger make the boss bigger but the end point the key point is that i should be able to turn on back on my number uh, kind of a like damage number on my screen and still able to see what is happening uh to the to the to the to the game itself and i think brought me the next point is really from a ui perspective you know can i just focus on the hero without looking at the hot bar I still can play this game effectively right now i can't because there's so many cooldown power i have to like you know uh you know one second i need to click a button two seconds i need to click a button uh, but if you play games like path of exile you don't need to see the hot bar at all in most cases uh, you can just focus on what's on the screen, where to dodge and so on. Uh, like even Diablo 3, by and large, you can do quite a lot of things without paying too much attention to the hot bar itself. Can Marvel heroes do it? I do not know. But it's something that I think they should also focus on doing that uh, to, to make it more, just, just, just really more fun. And I think, you know, uh, in, in a way, kind of like the last point to, to take note, uh, like the propose, for this game is that I think the developer should really reconnect back to the audience, uh, to the community itself. So doesn't matter which platform. I mean, I'm not trying to do a platform kind of war here. You know, uh, be it PS4 or Xbox One or you know PC. I think we just just unify the whole community into one, uh, rather than just splitting things up in a way. I mean, you could have Sephora, Sephora sub forum on the various car platform that's fine deal with kind of like technical issue with each form but there should really be a you know bring the people back together listen to the community like you know um you know sometimes the greatest idea could become from the community i think in the past i used to hear a lot of good idea in the forum but nowadays i mean you know really there's nothing there because why uh, we don't feel that gazillion listen right because they always uh have decided on something and they'll just announce to you at the last moment and say that well this is our design like you're not prestige like the o omega prestige i mean like the biggest update ever all these announcements there were a lot of very good feedback i've heard you know in the past but seriously none a lot of them are not being listened to and a lot of times the com community got it right if you look back and, and, and look at them you know uh, they may not we may not be a designer we, we may not design game uh, as a living but we play the game a lot we play thousands of hours a lot i play thousands of hours and i presume a lot of people also play a lot of time in the past and with the collective experience and collective kind of thought this game could have been a lot better so you know 
it, it requires a lot of like a mindset change from the developer side, not just like you know sitting up there and say, well, I know what we are doing. We are just going to announce to you and FYI, like you're not, just take it that way. Think of it from the player's perspective. Think of it like if you say you have 60 odd heroes all gear up and suddenly you change all the fundamental of the game to the least, right? Just discount heavily on the whole crafting kind of thing, you know, cost to it or what not cost to it. Always put yourself into the shoe of the uh, of, 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 of the gamers uh, and, and understand what they are ask what we are after. And I think last point really, uh, it is very very last point and very generic, very very like like you know, out of the blue here, just play the game. You know, Gazillions should just play the game, right? Like like us. Uh, not just spending too much time on developing a game and and uh, you know, uh, and, and try to test the game and stuff like that. Play the game. Play with us. Come to the uh, you know, come come to the live server and group with us. And you know, and then you 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 understand where our pain is, and you understand like what make this game fun and so on. Okay, so that is all really. So thank you very much for listening to all these like you know random ideas, and I hope that some of you may you know kind of like you know have some kind of uh, you know maybe ideas out from it maybe just tell Gazillion that maybe these are kind of good ideas you can you can take all my ideas just brand it as yours that's fine too but I think you know the voices need to be heard um, and I yeah I mean that's all really and by the way this video was made um, with magic I've uh, I, I found that her ranged uh, summon power is just very very lacking although I have a great AT legendary so I've decided to try something else uh, so try try another build which is more of the melee build, uh, but it's still not that satisfactory, which is kind of sad because I was trying to decide what kind of which hero I'm, I would like to bring it forward. Uh, but uh, I mean, it's one of those things, uh, just uh, you know, just magic and all. And uh, so right now, you know, with the big ten, the only event I do is just to get the ultimate token. But what is it for? I really do not know. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean that's all. Uh, Wow, it's been a long day. Um, so I hope uh, whatever you do, you enjoy yourself. And I'll definitely see you again soon. Uh, give me ideas uh, what you want me to do. All right, bye.